Hello guys and welcome back to part two of the destroyed G.I. Joe Jeep. So I uh, recently just got in a part today, actually yesterday. I got more parts coming in later today. But obviously you see I now have a hood. I picked up the cheapest one I could find on eBay. And uh, after the last video, the uh, did a little research on... 3dvintagejoes.com excellent resource for G.I. Joe collectors and I discovered because of the way the headlights are and the way it doesn't have a side mounted uh, uh, spare tire and such a few other little details also that there was no uh, window in involved in the uh, construction of the Jeep that this is the Sandstorm Survival Jeep and I only realized that after I had bought this hood, this hood is the uh, the more standardized G.I. Joe 7000, which is kind of what I thought this was initially, but it's not with the star on the top. And again, I bought the least expensive, so it's damaged. And that's fine. It actually kind of goes along with a lot of the damage that's on this. Again, not trying to make this a showpiece, just kind of a really cool uh, resto uh, restored uh, functioning Jeep, maybe even a rat rod. Uh, so what I've been doing is kind of brainstorming what to do. I do like the way it looks straight up, but I think I can do some things to have a little fun with this because this is just a, you know, it's a pretty beat up Jeep, even though I've got it back together. Uh, the glue is holding just fine. I did pick up some other things to possibly reinforce it. I really don't think it needs it because I really did do a pretty good job gluing it up and in, into the joints and a few other spots creating almost like a weld but uh, I did pick up some some other things but what I want to test out to start with is this hood. I'm going to take this hood off and I'm going to paint it and I'm going to rust it. So let me show you what's going on. This is kind of a test for me uh, but I've got some primer just picked up some regular uh, rust colored red oxide primer from Krylon so that I'm just gonna spray down on the hood I'm taking that off gonna spray it down but then picked up an interesting product and that's this modern masters metal effects rust so this is a uh, three or four part kit as you can see um, that creates rust. It's a primer and then an iron paint uh, that will rust when you spray the activator on it and it uh, will create a rust effect. So I'm going to test that out on the hood to begin with. I'm thinking I might possibly do that across the whole Jeep. But to start with, while I'm waiting on parts to come in, uh, which should be later today, so this will those parts will also be in this video. Uh, I want to get started with this rust effect, so I'm going to take the hood off, going to test it out, see how it goes. Okay, so I've primed the uh, hood and I also went ahead and primed the uh, windshield as well as I'm kind of digging the way this is looking. Uh, again, this right here is just a red oxide spray paint primer. That's all that's on here right now. The rust kit is not on. And actually, it's pretty convincing. I could kind of stop there and be happy with it. But I spent 20 bucks on this rust kit, so I'm going to give it a shot. 
Uh, I haven't clipped it into place, but you can see the effect, uh, just the dusting of the red oxide primer gives it. It's a really cool look, gives it that uh, uh, rusted out. You know, this is Sandstorm Survival. Not that this is the right hood for it, but that's the idea I'm going for with this Jeep. You know, something that's been uh, out in the field uh, has uh, had it. Uh, but it's still a functioning vehicle. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with the process here. So on the instructions, uh, you could uh, pause that if you want to do this yourself, but you'll have the box. Uh, the first step is to just use the primer, uh, which I've already sprayed primer, but I'll go ahead and use the primer because you can dab this in a way to give it a little bit more of a built up rust look. Uh, so that'll be step one. Then step two is to paint on the actual iron oxidizing paint. And then step three will to use the activator with the spray bottle to spray onto that to allow it to start rust. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with their primer. Okay, so I have uh, used their primer and allowed it to dry, kind of accelerated it a little bit with the blow dryer. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to step two, which is the metal effects iron. So let's see how this goes. that needs any shaking up seems a little watery okay so that's one coat on there and I'm gonna do the second coat now and I did need to mix it up a little bit it is watery but it still shouldn't have been as watery as it was all right so now it's got the spray paint primer it's got the kit primer and two coats of the iron oxidizer now I'm going to use the rust activator and let's see what we get This is the uh, five minute later mark, probably about 10 minutes, but. Okay, so while I'm waiting for that to rust up, I'm gonna go ahead and coat the Jeep. I don't think I'm gonna do that process across the whole thing, just a couple of parts, but I do wanna go ahead and paint up the Jeep. So let's get started with that. Alright guys, so here's the paint job so far. It's still drying. I used some olive drab on the seats and the uh, Rust-Oleum uh, Red Oxide. I think it gives it a really cool look. And then over here we got the uh, windshield still rusting up.
Okay, so we're pretty much getting to the home stretch here on this Frankenstein of a Jeep. Uh, so I only did the effect on the windshield because I wasn't sure how I was going to like it. And I'm not sure that I do fully love this look uh, that's uh, taking place on the windshield with the uh, rust kit. I do prefer the, uh, the Rust-Oleum paint job I did. Instead, the dusting, it gives it a nicer, uh, you know, just worn out in the sun look. This uh, looks to me a little bit more like corrosion. So I'm not a huge fan of that. I've also picked up uh, the uh, olive drab testers I've been using as well on this to give it a uh, look. So the seats are done in the olive drab. And I dusted along the sides because the... Uh, Basically, it would look more uh, worn on top than it would on the sides, in my opinion. I haven't touched the wheels yet. Um, let's give you a full-on look at this. The seats I, again, hit with the olive drab. And then uh, on the side to give it a look like it's rusting away the paint, but not completely. I think it gives it a really cool look. Uh, Pretty happy with the way this is coming along but as I said I got some parts in coming today and they came so here's the steering wheel uh, here's a gas cap from Matt's uh, Squatch Customs so I'll be putting that on there I also did pick up a uh, Adventure Team vehicle sticker from Cops World because uh, I was thinking of you know going to what this is which is the Sandstorm Survival uh, though I do like the tampoed uh, weathered look there uh, and also on the star. I was considering putting the uh, sticker there, but anyway, let's take a look at the steering wheel first. So this is the column and the steering wheel, so let's get that put on. Does it make a mess here? So that's the steering column in and let's put the steering wheel on. There we go. Now we got a steering wheel. So it's a drivable Jeep, uh, though it is missing the uh, shifter. That's another thing I got to work on. Uh, but that's pretty cool. Now it has a steering wheel. It's starting to look more like something you can actually use. Now let's take a look at this gas cap. I'm gonna have to hit that one up with some paint to uh, blend it in. Okay, so I got the uh, gas cap painted up. I'm gonna attach that. It's not a tight fit. Uh, so it'll definitely fall off, so I'm going to go ahead and glue that into place. Picked up some new Loctite super glue. This stuff's been great so far, so definitely going to continue using that. Activate it, punch through, just a tiny drop. Don't need much on this one. Alright, so I think we're done for today. 
uh, paint jobs done, the steering wheels installed, the gas cap is installed. Um, so you can see I had a little bit of uh, weathering effects, uh, chip silver along some of the edges just to bring out a little bit of the detail. Uh, give you a full 360 view of it. Uh, the silver on the uh, headlights uh, suffered slightly on the uh, masking. It took a little bit off, which I fixed with the uh, chrome pen. Uh, hood works. So it's a combination of the rust effect on the uh, windshield and then the uh, rust oxide red paint along with the uh, olive drab to kind of bring the look together. So I think it turned out pretty good for a Jeep that was uh, broken in half and ready for the trash heap. I think there's a few little tidbits to do. The transmission needs to be uh, installed. I'll probably make a, a custom one because uh, looking on eBay, they're not really too cost effective. And I did want to keep the cost on this project down. But pretty happy with the way it looks. The windshield uh, rust effect, I'm not 100% sold on, but it does got its look. And it kind of adds to the uh, Frankenstein nature of the Jeep. So I hope you enjoyed taking a look at the restoration of the G.I. Joe Vintage Jeep. Thanks as always for watching and until next time.